Welcome back, True Seeker. May 20th, 2019. The date numerology today is 643719 in the primary methods, also a lesser date numerology of 44. Keep in mind, in regards to the date numerology, 37 is the 12th prime number, 19 is the 8th prime. There's one playoff game today. It's the Warriors at the Portland Trailblazers. With regards to the one playoff game being in Portland, keep in mind Portland has Gematria of 37 and 44. The Blazers are 5-2 and two at home in these playoffs. If they lost today, they would be 5-3. and three. Trailblazers equals 53. We had the Blazers peg to finish the regular season with 53 wins as they did. Their season very well could end today at 5-3 and three at home in the playoffs. That said, the Warriors are 5-2 and two away. If they lost today, they would become 5-3 and three against the Trailblazers. If they won, they'd be 6-2. and two. And remember, the way this series began was with a 62 riddle. It was 293 days from Game 1 going back to the feud that started between McCollum of the Blazers and Durant of the Warriors. 293 is the 62nd prime. Game 1 was also on Steph Curry's 62nd day of his age, and the game was 62 days before Lillard's upcoming birthday. Now, I said before the series began that I expected the Blazers to either get swept or win just one game. And their best opportunity at getting that 60-second win was Game 3, which was a date with 62 numerology, and they didn't get it. That's the game where they played well in the first half. They were up 66 to 53 at the half. And then they managed to score 18 points in 18 minutes to start the second half and ended up getting beat pretty good. If the Warriors won today, they'd get to 6-2, and kind of like 62. And the other thing about 62 in this series is through Enos Cantor. He's from Turkey. Turkey equals 62. Turkey also equals 37, like Portland, like today's date numerology. But there's this ongoing story with Enos Cantor in Turkey and how they want him as a criminal. And this has been a story in the news since 2017. Today's headline on the front page of ESPN, Cantor, after I leave the court, the fight begins. Is this predictive programming? Is he going to leave the court today? Um, there's obviously somewhere they're going with this 62 story. And don't forget the way they script sports and news together. So... That said... Looking at the stats for the game, the Blazers are 61-35 and 35 for the season. They have 37 home wins. If they lost today, they'd stay at 37 home wins on the 37 date. Again, Portland equals 37. The Blazers in the playoffs are 116 and 146. Portland equals 116. If the Warriors win today, they'll get their 116th win against the Blazers all time, and they'll become 11-6 and six in Western Conference Finals. Remember, they get one game one with 116 points. The Warriors are 32 and 16 away this season. If they won today, they'd get their 33rd away win on a 33 date numerology. Or, excuse me, not a 33 date numerology, in the 33rd state, Oregon. Abbreviated OR, which equals 33. 15 plus 18. The Blazers. And the Warriors, again, the Warriors are going for the 116th win to close out the series. They have 126 losses all time. Portland Trail Blazers equals 126. Oakland equals 126. This is part of the reason we thought the Warriors might sweep the Blazers to get this record of 116 and 126 before the series even began. The Warriors... At Portland, again, are 36 and 85. If they won today, they'd get their 37th win at Portland on a 37 date. And again, Portland equals 37 as well. The Warriors are now 11 and 1 against Portland in the playoffs. If they won, they'd be 12 and 1. Portland equals 121. There was a stat put up in game three that the Warriors are 2 and 0 
or excuse me, the Warriors are 12 and 1 in playoff series when they lead 2-0. That means if they win, they'll become 13 and 1. Oakland does equal 131 as well. If the Warriors did not win today, I am quite certain they would close it out in Game 5. Game 5 equals 41. Oakland equals 41. Golden State equals 41. If the Warriors lost today, they'd become 11-2 against Portland. And then by beating them in Game 5, they'd become 12-2. Golden State equals 122, like 12-2. Portland and Oakland are both on the 122nd meridian. So, again, we've talked about this since before the series began. I've said I expect Portland to win one game at the most. And um, I thought their best chance of winning that game was game three because it had the 62-date numerology. So they missed that. Now I'm thinking, mm, is it going to be a sweep? Game four equals 40. They could sweep them 4-0. And again, pick up that 37th win on the 37 day. What else is interesting about today's game is... Um, let me check something real quick. Golden State Warriors equals 243 with the alphabetic order. Portland Trailblazers equals 243. What's interesting is um, today is 243 days after McCollum's birthday, the number that connects to both teams. Also, with regards to the Warriors players, the game is 67 days after Curry's birthday. West equals 67. They can become the Western Conference champions today. 67 is also the 19th prime. It's 2019. Today's also 101 days after Clay Thompson's birthday. And finals equals 101. His father, Michael Thompson, former NBA player. He spent a lot of years up in Portland. Also did a radio show here for basketball, for NBA basketball, for over a decade in Portland. Um... So 101 days after Thompson's birthday's finals 101 would be a good day to advance to the finals. Those are um, those are pretty much the, the clues for this game. And the uh, Warriors are a slight favorite today. What I would do is I'd wait closer to game time and see how the money falls just like i said yesterday with the nhl and the live stream we looked at the hockey game and we saw that 90 percent of the money was on the sharks about two hours before the game by game time 86 percent of the money was on the sharks i said yesterday if all the money stays on the sharks take the blues to cover and not only did they cover they won big they won 5-0 Today it was pointed out in the live stream that 50 years ago the Blues in Boston did play in a meaningful series. So something to think about. But um, right now the Warriors and Trailblazers, 80% of the money is on the Warriors. If the money stays big on the Warriors, I would probably shy away from this game. If it evens out, I would probably take the Warriors to win. And um, another caller called in today with a, a decent betting strategy at this point. He says if, um, you know, when a team's down 3-0 in a series, what he likes to do is he'll bet on the team to close it out 4-0. So, like, say he'd bet $10 today. And if they didn't, then in the next game, he'd bet $20 for them to close it out. And if they didn't close it out there, he'd bet $40 in the next game. Because, you know, what are the odds of coming back from 3-0? So that's a pretty interesting strategy. And um, that might be a good way to go about this. But um, if the Blazers do get that 60-second win, which was hinted at at the beginning of the series, I, I think that's where their seasonal end and the Warriors will close it out in Game 5. So I'd pay attention to how this money lays. If it evens out, if it gets, um, you know, like 40-60 by game time, which is possible or even closer to 50-50, which is also possible, I would take the Warriors. That 37th win in Portland on the 37 date um, seems likely. Especially the way the... Well, I mean, it's all scripted, but you can just see that the Blazers aren't trying to win, you know? They're doing what they typically do in the playoffs. Lay down. 
So in the MLB today, the um, the date numerology riddle that we've been following, it broke today because we got to the 20th. We've been following a really good date numerology pattern where over 70% of the games had been following the date numerology for the last 10 days. And that, that changed today because this method yesterday was 27, the day before that 26, the day before that 25, 24, so on. Because we got to this zero, it made the number less. So the date numerology is now 19 instead of going to 28 today, which it would have if it followed the pattern. So because of that, like I said in the live stream, we're probably going to have to wait five, six days until this number grows back up, until it starts lining up with games again. And then we're going to get in that consistent groove where the games hit the date numerology again. So the pattern that I said was most likely to come through today is 37 and it being the 12th prime. And for example, Boston has a chance to stay on 12 away losses and pick up their 12th win. And, you know, we were doing this in the live stream before the game started, but the game's underway now and the Red Sox already have two runs in the first inning. But it looks like the Blue Jays got runners in scoring position. So if you're doing live betting, the thing to keep in mind is you know, this 12-12 away record possibility on the 37 date. Again, 37, the 12th prime. And since this is the early game, you can watch and see if those 12s come through because then that can be a good clue for the rest of the day. And it looks like the Red Sox just got out of that situation. So end of the first inning, they remain up 2-0. And uh, if the Blue Jays lose, the announcers will probably be talking about those runners in scoring position for the rest of the game. Okay, so MLB, other things going on today. Um, athletics, Indians, not really any great clue there. Um, the Yankees will have a shot at their 12th win today on the 37 date. Yankees equals 37. We have 37 date numerology, so keep an eye on that. Um, let's see here. It's the Orioles' 47th game of the season. 47 is the 15th prime. Um, the one thing that could go for the Orioles is staying on 15 home losses. So that's another thing to consider. It's another thing to consider. If you do see the 12s come through for the Red Sox, I think that'll be the stronger riddle. But um, that is one thing that could play in favor of the Orioles today. Staying on 15 home losses in the 47th game. Just as a reminder, the one date numerology pattern that, or excuse me, the one prime number relationship that has not been working in baseball is when you look at the home or away record independently. So for example, for the Nationals, it's going to be their 23rd away game today. 23 is the ninth prime, but we haven't seen a consistent pattern with primes and looking at the home and away records that way. Where we have seen the prime number relationship work is just for example, if the Nationals were at five away wins and 13 losses, I'd really like them to pick up their sixth win today because 13's the sixth prime. We've seen those types of prime number relationships working out, but not counting the total games and getting the prime number relationship with that. And um, this Orioles relationship, the 47th game, we and the prime and the home away record, where that has actually been pretty consistent is if, say, today the Orioles were going for their 15th home win or their 15th home loss in their 47th game rather than remaining on it, we've seen that be pretty consistent. The overall game count corresponding with the prime number relationship and the home or away record. But staying on the number hasn't been as consistent. Phillies and Cubs... The uh, name Jake Arrieta is 99. He comes in with nine, a 9-9 nine nine away record for his team. Remember, he used to pitch for the Cubs. He pitched for them the year they won the World Series. He was a big part of their World Series season. What stands out to me is he's 4-4 four and four facing his old team, the Cubs. If he lost, he'd be 4-5. and five. Cubs equals 45. So does Wrigley. So does Major League. So does Jake Arrieta. Remember, the Cubs hadn't been in the World Series since 45 that year. They won it with Arrieta. But that said, there is one other hope for Arietta. The name Arietta alone is also 54. He could become 5-4. and four, But to me, it's the 45 that's a little bit more significant. Um, so, 
The one other thing I could see is that if the Cubs lost, they'd be 15-7, and seven, a bit like 157, the 37th prime on a 37-day. So those are observations, but the riddle's a, a little bit too tight. Again, baseball, we're not going to get the great reads for about five more days, I would say. The Mariners and the Rangers today has 19 and 44 date numerology. Seattle equals 19 and 44. There's a chance both pitchers could be 4 and 4 today if Mike Leak got the win and minor the loss. Rangers and Seattle equal 44. If the Mariners did win, they'd stay on 12 away losses on the 37 date as well. So Mariners are the underdog. The White Sox and the Astros, Ryan Burr, his second career, are going for his second career decision, younger pitcher. Um, the one thing that can go against the White Sox today, again, is the 37-date numerology, the 12th prime. They could pick up their 12th away loss today. The Braves and the Giants, the Braves have a shot at their 12th win. Um, what's interesting about this series is it's a four-game series, and it's going to end on a date with 22 numerology. Braves equals 22. If these teams split the series 2-2, the Giants could get to 22 wins on the 22 date. So I'd keep an eye on that for the series. Could be a good clue going forward. But um, the Braves could get the 12th win. You could also make an argument that the Giants could stay on 12 home losses. But again, picking up the numbers is always more likely. The Twins and the Angels. The Twins have been playing really well. They did just lose their last game to the Mariners, but they've been pretty on fire. Probably the second hottest team in MLB behind Houston. Um, if they won today, they'd have 31 wins and the Angels would be at 22. Twins... And Angels, both equal 22 and 31. For both teams, it's their 47th game of the season as well. It's the 47th game of the season. That could go against the Twins because they could possibly stay on 15 away wins. 47 is the 15th prime. So another tight one there. Um, and then in this Diamondbacks-Padres game... The pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Luke Weaver, for his career, he's 18 and 19. If he were to win today, he would get to 19 and 19 on a 19 date numerology. Unf well, one other thing. If his team won today, he'd also become 4 and 2 on the season. If he got the win, Diamondbacks equals 42, Arizona equals 42. I have to say, though, I haven't seen that 42 riddle playing very well for the Diamondbacks yet this year. And um, it'll ev eventually it will come through. I mean, it could come through today. But so far, the 42s have mostly come up empty for the Diamondbacks. Um, the one thing that's going for the Padres is notice they could get that 12th win on the 37 date numerology. And team records and date numerology have been a lot more consistent than pitcher records. So Weaver's record is still something to consider. But just the fact that it conflicts with the Padres is, is tough. Um, keep in mind, San Diego Padres does equal 137, the 33rd prime, and either teacher, not teacher, either pitcher could become three and three today as well. And that Padres pitcher has been pitching great this season, so I'd really keep an eye on the 12s. And again, if the Red Sox do become 12 and 12 to start the day, that could be a clue. So. But I also urge you to be patient if you wait about five more days when the date numerology lines up with the team's win and loss records again, which is sure to happen. Um, things will get a lot better. So, okay, we just had a really nice streak for about 10 days of baseball. And, uh, it will come back. Patience is a virtue. So... I'm pretty scorned on this Warriors Blazers series. Um, again, I think we had a peg right from the beginning. Warriors 4 0 or Warriors 4 1. But the Blazers keep getting, you know, little riddles in, in the dates and, and the way the games could come out. And um, so far, they've only covered in one game. Um, 
Again, just that 37 date. We've tracked 37 in Portland all series. The fact that the Warriors can get their 37th all-time win against Portland and close out the series today, it, it looks to be the better riddle. Um, however, the playoffs the, the last few days, I haven't been doing well. You know, I've been going with the typical methods, but um, I've been getting beat. And I do want to apologize. I think I forgot to say something important in the review video that I said yesterday in the live stream. In the live stream yesterday, I said with the Blues and Sharks game, which I wasn't crazy about, I did say if the money stayed big on the Sharks to take the Blues to cover, which they did. So I think that's what the people did in the live stream. But I think I forgot to make that point in the review video. So again, just remember, every single day, be in the habit of checking the pregame. It, it is a good website. And um, follow how this money lays at game time. If... Um, if it gets closer to even, I think that'll boost the odds of the Warriors closing it out. Because sometimes I think it does come down to the money, too. Because, again, they have a riddle to close out the series 4-0. It could also make sense to do it in 4-1. Maybe if Vegas sees a big, you know, payday collection night, they, uh, they let it go one more game. So, those casinos are expensive to operate. But, uh... We'll leave it there for now. Be back at the same time tomorrow. Good luck, true seeker. Till next time.